Welcome back to Squirrel Stampede Gaming Switch 2 Targeting Computer. Uh, hey everybody, welcome back. This is episode 37 and this might be the tightest turnaround of an episode in a long time. It was just a week ago we were here at episode 36 uh, and my controller has decided to take a nap, but I'm back. So here we are in front of the Squirrel House with a big cast of fans, uh, friends, family. Philip8975 is joining us today. Yay! That's Cousin Philip. He constructed the bridge across the way. Water Zebra or Squirrel Girl Stampede is here. That's her alias. Ben Ultra 21 is dressed up as Luke today. And where's Lazy Kitty? There's Lazy Kitty 10K in a very cute cat themed skin. So lots to do today. Uh, we've probably played 100 days or more in the last couple days to just kind of catch up and get some items and things that we've been behind on, uh, mainly in the gardening world. It's been so hard to get food, but we've got food and we're even up on the new update here. Uh, so that's good. We've got everybody gaming at full speed. So let's take a look at the squirrel house. Um, what is going on here? The giant squirrel house has, has had some massive renovations going on. Uh, let's get a better view up here. You can see it's been shot by an arrow, maybe in the hip there, but we've constructed these giant paws up front and it's definitely a work of construction. I've got a dirt everywhere to help me out with those paws because they were way high up. And just trying to get the paws to mirror each other was really challenging. So let's kind of go inside and see the update of the paws from above. I've started to um, move a few chests inside. Oh, <laughs> well, we've had some uh, slime spillage here on our front floor, and there's some of the um, uh, the quartz or whatever you call that stuff we found from the mines and a map room and uh, some of the items. There's that one diamond we found last week. We framed it up to celebrate. So a few things going on down here in the main room. We're still we're still working under construction. Uh, so the map room. Let's just take a look, quick look at the map now. See where the little green arrow is is where the squirrel house is located and the main road kind of goes right up to here. This is the village that we're staring at down the road. So see how there's a village over there? Well, that's our road to the village right there. And I just kind of wandered around a couple spots. You can see the mountains over here. Uh, there's actually another village right where my cursor is right there. We haven't visited yet. And I discovered there's another village right about there. So we have three villages in range, uh, but we'll get to those eventually. Um, Water Zebra enjoying the bouncy effect of the slime. Uh, let's check up here and see, whoa, 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 I've got Ben Ultra right in my face. Um, let's see here, there he is. Uh, first floor, oh wow, I just rocketed up two floors. I didn't even see that, it happened so fast. I put up these hip doors right now. I needed to be able to get out to the sides of the squirrel. Yeah, I got shot by an arrow and I was able to work on the paws. Um, ooh, I don't think I can get over there from here, but it was a really tricky thing. Oh, and you might see a little colorful sheep Farm. That's a little temporary sheep farm we're working on back there. We will eventually find a really cool barn for those guys. Uh, ooh, it's already getting late. Uh, let's run up here though before it gets too late. Uh, so up here is the top of the squirrel house and you can see uh, me getting a little bit um, heights worried there. Uh, ben Ultra has actually made it onto the paw of the squirrel. So next time I will be functioning these, uh, uh, functioning. Next time I will be constructing the head somewhere in here, giant head and then the rest of the back and the tail. So a lot of work to be done on this mega squirrel and it's got plenty of room and things to grow in here. So that's pretty, pretty fun to build and work on. Whoop. Let's head down and uh, take a nap so that we can, um, begin the day walking around and see some other developments. Oh, I forgot to jump on that. We'll jump on that in the morning. It's funny that we all have to have a bed ready and then one of us always seems to forget a bed now. That's one of the challenges of multiplayer. Um, yeah, I was gonna test out this um, very dangerous and sketchy um, jumping area. Uh, let's see here, Ben Ultra, if you could scooch out of the way real quick and I will give a jump. Uh, here I come, uh, oh boy. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at me go. So that's our safety floor. Uh, kind of working on that a little bit. And we found and encountered so many slime cubes in this area. It's crazy. 
So walking out the front door, the first thing I want to kind of check out is what Water Zebra, aka Squirrel Girl Stampede, is working on over here. She has built this acorn house that is very intriguing uh, in front of her garden. She still needs to make some steps. Oh no wait, she's created steps. A new set of steps to get down on into her area. The old steps were under the road. So look at this beautiful acorn house. That is a very tasty treat for a squirrel. Interesting structure, still under construction, she says. Uh, this is the, what would this be, the main room with the bed? And then up here, more space and area of the acorn facility. So nicely done. Nice construction there. A little sketchy up here, a little dark and scary. Might want to put some porches. Um, so very interesting. And we'll be excited to see this continue, continue on being constructed. Uh, Lazy Kitty, shall we check out what you've done? I, I've heard you've done some interesting things over at your construction too. And I see some updates on Philip's house as well. Last time it looked like an angry owl. This time it looks like a fly. That is sad, but we'll go check it out in a second. Uh, da, 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 da. Around the corner. Oh, she put in a pool. Luke loves water. He will spend hours in the water um, as long as the eyeball guy isn't in there, but he will spend a lot of time in there because Tatooine is so dry. So Lazy Kitty also has implemented a safety measure here. Oh, there's dogs chasing us. Are these dogs mad? What is going on? Okay, so let's climb up this ladder. We've got safety slime on the bottom now, so that makes it a little easier to, to worry about. And yeah, so she's updated. There's something on top of the squirrel. That's very interesting. I've heard rumors it might be a lazy kitty riding a squirrel. And those are the legs, so that's the rumor. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see. So she's working hard on that. The challenge would be getting the wool, the black wool for it. And I believe she even has, ouch, a wool farm somewhere down here. There it is. She's got black wool, a black wool farm going and I see some emeralds right there one of these days I got to start picking up all these fine jewels but this is safe now now I can simply go oh, oh man that slime bounces that's, I don't know if that's safe or not oh it won't stop bouncing oh yeah okay so continuing on over here at whoa someone died someone fell off Who, whose stuff is that I'll try not to take it I think I accidentally took something don't pick up my stuff. A lazy kitty perished in the video. I wish we had got that on film. You must have slipped somehow. So over here at Cousin Philip house, Philip has built this interesting bug-like creature now. It looks like a bug. Am I correct on that? Or is it a crossbow pointing to the sky? It could be a crossbow. Very interesting. He's very clever with some interesting ideas over here by Philip's bridge. So good work, Philip. That's very interesting. Okay, so let's run over to Ben Ultra's place, and then we're gonna go to the Dripstone Squirrel and pick up some diamonds that I have found, and we will discover how many diamonds I did find. I'm very, very interested in this diamond um, story. We kinda need to work on a better way up here, don't we? All right, so Ben Ultra's house is this way. Follow me or Ben Ultra. What is this? Some sort of dripstone trap? That's interesting. Can I get in here? Uh, I don't want to get stuck in there. Always interesting things over here. So what is going on with this? Last time we saw it, it looked like a giant antenna and not too much has been uh, installed since then other than a nice platform on one side. I do not know what's going on here. I might have to give Ben Ultra an allowance of playing like 10 hours straight and just get this thing built. Just say, you will build this for 10 hours straight. So we're gonna climb up here to the top. Is it dangerous up here? It feels dangerous. He's got a nice level surface up here. Um, I'm afraid to walk around up here. I don't wanna die. Um, I'll try. Yeah, 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 okay, we made it. Um, interesting, interesting place you got here. It's quite huge. Um, very interesting and scary because my height, my fear of heights is kicking in. And back down. 
So interesting construction there. And he's got some interesting things going on in there. He picked one of the best areas because of all this um, coal and things on this strange, strange cliff structure area. So very interesting over here. Okay, so let's see here. I think we're gonna head down and see the dripstone squirrel now. Everyone wanna see the dripstone squirrel? I think it would be pretty interesting. So let's follow me over to the mines, which has, I think, gotten a little safer since the last two times we ventured. The first time was very sketchy and we took out a lot of mobs. And the second time was even more sketchy and we took out even more mobs. But in between that time and this time, we've placed several torches down and it feels safer. So let's run over there real fast. And the entrance to our favorite cave, headed down in, I don't have food. Let's give Lazy Kitty some food. I've got a couple um, potatoes. Where'd she go? Come over here, Lazy Kitty. One, two, three, baked potatoes for you. And Philip would require some food. There's some, anybody else? Anybody else need food? Jump if you need food. Oh, Ben Ultra needs food. You guys never prepare. Okay. And water zebra, um, are you good with food? She's, mm, I can't tell. I, I gave them all my potatoes. I've got half a chicken, I can give you a chicken. That's about it. I need some food for myself. All right, so let's wander down here and see what we have. I know that I'm just going to have to become like a professional chef in this game because we're always, always running low on food with this many people in the game. So I'm going to have to like double, triplify my gardening area. Okay, so follow me down to the dripstone squirrel we go. Ben Ultra showing us the way. Remember this area when it was so scary at first? Not so bad now. Usually I bonk my head right about, um, I can't remember, right about there. But I didn't this time. I didn't bonk my head. So we're getting closer. We're gonna head down to this area over here. Bop, bop, bop. And down another waterfall. Oh, 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 that was sketchy. That was sketchy. I went down the side I usually don't go and I thought I'd hit, I thought I'd hit a rock. So here we are, deeper into the cave and we've lit it up. It is much safer. We're feeling good and we're gonna go down to the dripstone squirrel house. There's dripstone squirrel. Oh, actually, I need to add a little more dripstone to it. So maybe we could add some dripstone ears to it. But first, I want to get these diamonds over here in this corner. Yesterday, while digging some dripstone, look what I found. Four diamonds all ready to go. So that's pretty neat. One, two, four. Uh, I was hoping there'd be something below one, but I don't see anything. I think that's it. That's a bummer. I was hoping we'd find more. But that's just enough to make us a pickaxe and maybe even enchanting table for next time. So that's perfect. Uh, we can get into the nether and someone's dead. Who died this time? <laughs> Lazy Kitty was slain by a wolf. Why is there a wolf in here? How did that happen? How did that even happen? I, I didn't see it. I'm looking at the, the things over here. Philip's already over there. Uh, let's add some dripstone to the squirrel really fast, though. I kind of want to see what it looks like. Ben Ultra's dog got her? That's weird. He accidentally hit me. Oh, that's odd. Okay, so let's add some dripstone ears to our dripstone squirrel real quick. We'll go inside real quick. It's just a basic little place to be safe uh, here. There's, there's some uh, uh, little dripstones up on its ears. They don't really make them, you can't really make them bigger, can you? Uh, oh, Philip was slain by a zombie. Yeah, up there, I wouldn't go too far up there. It is it is pretty sketchy still, right up where Ben Ultra is. I lit up a little bit up there. Over here though, in our dripstone squirrel house, it's pretty basic. It's just a place to hide from all the bad guys. Oh, I wanted to bring some windows. I forgot to do that. Uh, but maybe we should check out that sky. Oh, we've got, we've got a cube. We've got a slime cube. Everybody get this cube down. These cubes are relentless. Ah, there's a zombie behind Water Zebra. Get that guy. This area is constantly, constantly breeding new mobs. But we like them. We like them. Okay. 
Okay, we've got things back in order. Everyone has returned, I think. Uh, Lazy Kitty has found most of her items that she lost, Ben Ultra, too. Oh, there's Philip. Philip has made it back, too. He's having a little incident with Ben Ultra and disappeared. And so, uh, also, Squirrel Girl Stampede had to take off, so she's gone. We're just going to peek our head up here real quick. Um, and see what we can f see. I wanted to show you why it's sketchy. Someone's potatoes. I'll take those. Um, let's just peek our head up here. I put a few torches up here, but it's still pretty dangerous. It's still not. It's still not ready to go. <laughs> Lazy Kitty said, "Curse you." <laughs> so yeah, it gets really dark and scary back here. I'm thinking I'll be able to find even more diamonds back here. Uh, but for now, we're gonna close up shop down here. Oh, I just saw an arrow fly. Um, Ben Ultra hinted that there may be arrows, but we're not, we are not ready to fight. No one has armor on, um, so we're going to head back up. I have a little armor, but everybody else is, is pretty much, oh, oh no, here comes these guys again. Okay, let's, a zombie with an iron sword. I think I got that iron sword. Ah, this guy is really showing me who's the skeleton. Okay, ah, yeah, picked up some bow and arrows. Okay, so. That is what we found. We found those diamonds, and that was what we came for. So we can take those back. Uh, we can prepare um, a pickaxe for next time, or um, just have that ready in between. All players need to sleep. Uh, Water Zebra is sleeping. I thought she was done. Um, she's crafting up something interesting, but we're headed up. Food, rotten flesh. I don't care. Oh, she needs food. Where are you? Um, you can have a chicken. Here's a chicken. And... A big potato. I need to eat this other potato. So water zebra's out. It's it's calamity here today. Last week was calamity. This week is just kind of uh, a roundup of basic things. So let's head back up to the squirrel house and finish things up. Let's get these diamonds back up to safety. That's our goal here. We got to get these diamonds up. Diamonds up to safety. I've got four in my pocket. And there's always a little bit of a sketchiness on these uh, water fountains. Which, where's my way up here? What's my favorite way up? There it is. I use those uh, um, geode stones. Why can't I think of their name today? They're like, Amethyst. Amethyst. Thank you, Amethyst. I have not been able to say Amethyst today. Um, Amethyst stones mark our way a little bit, which is helpful. And then... I'm going to pick up this waterfall up up and out. Come on, come on. Gotta get these diamonds up safely. Four is a bounty for me. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, and then we're at our regular cave here. Oh, Lazy Kitty fell from high place. <laughs> Poor Lazy Kitty, it's not her day right now. She said she hates this cave. This cave is evil. She does not like it. Um, maybe we should. I don't know where Philip is. I was gonna say we should throw some beds down here, Ben Ultra, and sleep here. Um, I wonder if we should do that. Is Lazy Kitty near a bed still? Um, we can throw some beds down. There's Philip. Um, let's let's have a sleep over here. Um, I don't know why someone's building a house. I don't like that. Uh, just go to bed. Everybody find a bed and we'll be good to go. Yeah, no, no reason to build a house. We're just kind of sleeping under the cave of stars. Grab these up and let's head back. We're headed back, heading home. It's daytime, right? Head back to the squirrel house and we'll call it good. Okay, we've successfully made it out of this cave this time. The last two episodes ended sketchily by being destroyed by something. So we made it out this time. We're headed back towards the squirrel house, the mighty gigantic squirrel house. So we have a lot to build before we get back to next time. Hopefully we will see a giant head of a squirrel up there and we will be able to use those diamonds to maybe poke our heads into the nether for the very first time. We've got a nether gate behind the squirrel. Let's kind of head over to the nether gate. That would be a good spot to end it. Kind of scope that out because that's where we'll need to go soon uh, to get some extra other cool awesome items. I want to be able to make some potions uh, this time around so we're gonna have to find that fortress and all that fun. So oh there's my garden. It's looking pretty good right now. It's looking good. Okay so over to this uh, 
back end gate area. Well, let's check that out. Up here behind the mega squirrel who has been shot in the hip. Poor squirrel. Over here, Ben Ultra has somehow got way ahead of me. He knows how to run fast. And there we go. There is our portal. We'll probably build like a special nether nether entrance gate over here because we've already got it started and it just seems very interesting. I'm very curious where this gate is going to send us. Um, it's got a little bit left here and I think we'll, we'll really have some fun rebuilding this. Just got to get that diamond pickaxe going and maybe a little extra um, a little extra obsidian. Uh, oh, we've even got obsidian in the chest ready to go. So I think we're going to be able to rebuild this for next time. So thank you everybody for watching today. If you like today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel live, and a squamant. What is your favorite feature of this new world so far? Or if you have a recommendation for us to build something, please, please recommend. So thank you much for watching. We'll see you next time.